I love using paper planners, but I feel like every time I try a new planner, I always find myself saying, I wish I could just do this one other thing, or I don't like this feature. Why doesn't it have what that planner had? And so after years of trying a bunch of different planners, I finally decided I'm gonna make my own. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the paper planner I made for myself. I'll show you some of the features I put in it that I like, and I'll also show you how you can make your own paper planner to suit your unique productivity proclivities. All right, let's get into it. Hey, my name is Reagan Rose. I'm the creator of Redeeming Productivity, where we help Christians get more done for the glory of God. And that really is the goal of this planner that I created. This is called the Waypoints Goal Planner. And I made this last year and I've been using it and refining it over the past 12 months. And basically what I did is I took the principles we teach in my book, Redeeming Productivity, and in our Redeeming Productivity Academy community, and I said, let's put these into a 13-week goal planner. So the whole point of this thing is choose some God-glorifying goals and then stay on track with them with this planner. So I've gone through four of these in the last year. This is my fifth one. I'm in the process of setting this thing up for the first quarter of 2026 and laying out my goals. And so I just wanna show you how it works and then I'll show you how to make one. So this planner is all built around being faithful in the different domains that the Lord has given you to steward. So it's designed around this concept we call a well done statement. And so you put this in the front of the book, you define what you believe faithfulness in each of your main areas of life looks like, your relationships, your job, your uh, money, all of that stuff. And then you lay out what are my longer term aspirations? What are the things Lord willing that I want to see happen in each of these areas over the next five years? And then you just sort of work backwards from there towards what can I do over the next 13 weeks to move a little bit closer to that. And so you you evaluate how you're doing one out of five in each of those domains of stewardship. And then based on that, you pick a few of those and say, I'm gonna set some goals here. And so you can see I already started brainstorming some goals for the new year, for the first quarter. And then you can lay that all out. I have these goal spreads I've created. What am I gonna do each week? What are the habits? How do I track how much time I'm putting into the goal? What are the resources I need? How does this goal glorify God? All of that stuff. If you're familiar with my material, all of that is in this planner. And there's a spot for three big goals uh, in here. You've got a spot for calendars um, and for mapping out an ideal weekly schedule for yourself so you kind of know where your time's going to go on an average week. And then the real meat of it is just weekly plans, weekly reflection, daily execution, right? So there's an area to reflect, how was my relationship with the Lord, all these different questions about how last week went, what progress did I make, what do I need to change, and then laying out the priorities for the new week, reviewing the important stuff, goals, calendars, your well done statement. And then these, there's just one little thing for each day of the week. And so that's why I made these spiral bound so I can just lay it flat. It doesn't like try to close itself. I don't need a ribbon or anything. I just have this sitting on my desk. I have my five habits that I want to do each morning, my power morning habits, prayer, organize, word, exercise, reading, so I can check those off. What did I read in the word? What are my three priorities? Mapping out onto time, when I'm going to time box time for each of those priorities. That's it. It's that simple. There's a spot for notes at the end of each week. But other than that, it's just you repeat that over and over and over. And little by little, you're making progress on those goals while managing the rest of stuff of life. That's all I wanted in a planner. And so I made my own. We also made a version of it digital so that you can just put it onto an iPad or a remarkable tablet or something like that. But now let me show you how you could do this yourself. If you're like, hey, I like your planner. We do sell those in our shop. So if you wanna just get the one I made, you can click the link in the description. But if you wanna make your own, you wanna customize it, you wanna go crazy, here's exactly how I did it. So you need to know there are two ways to go about this. Well, there's more than two ways, but I'll explain the easy mode and the hard mode version. So easy mode would be to do this in Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, it's basically a online publishing software. So you can go in here, you could make stuff for uh, posters or uh, business cards or 
an entire planner for yourself. And it's really easy to use. If you can use Microsoft Paint, you can figure out Canva. And in fact, you can do all this stuff on the free version of the account. You don't even need to pay for it. So I made version one of my planner inside of Canva, and it was very simple to lay out. And one of the things I did is I sort of had in mind what I wanted the different sections to be for it, but I didn't really know how to lay these things out, like the tables and stuff in Canva. And so what I did is I went to their um, template gallery and I just looked through different types of, some were planners, some were um, just like worksheets, and I just found like designs and layouts that were similar to what I was trying to accomplish. And then I would just add those in and then adjust stuff. Like I'd change the colors, I'd move stuff around, I'd customize it to be like I wanted. But it saved me a lot of time, and it was actually how I sort of figured out how to use Canva to accomplish exactly what I wanted. But you may even find as you're doing a custom planner for yourself, hey, I just like one of these ones that Canva had. Some of them are like a whole planner in and of themselves and you could not even modify it. You can, you're can you allowed to print it off and make it into your own custom planner. So there's a lot of options within there. One of the cool things about this is if you're like not exactly sure what you want your planner to do, you can go in here and look at these different templates and you might get ideas for the types of sections you wanna create just from the templates and there are tons of them in here. And so then you say, well, how can I actually get this thing once I've created it? Well, the easy mode version still is you can go to share and you can click print with Canva and you can do something like a bound document. And within here, you can set all of the paper quality, um, the covers you want for it, um, choose how many you want to order for yourself, and all these extra little things, and then it'll actually deliver it to you. But do note that compared to other print-on-demand services, this is a little bit more expensive. The other way you could do this, even within Canva, is just export the PDF. So you just download it. PDF for print. And when you download this, then you can use a service like Lulu. Now that's lulu.com, not lululemon. That's where I get my leggings. Lulu.com is a print on demand service. And it takes a little bit, they have help documents and stuff. It takes a little bit to get used to. But as long as you match the size of the planner you exported from Canva to this, and you have to make a separate cover document, it's, it's gonna end up being a lot cheaper. And if it's something like a quarterly planner, like I made, I can just come in here and order a new one every time I want one. But the really neat thing with Lulu is if you have aspirations to maybe potentially sell your planner like I do, it's very easy to integrate it with Shopify or a Wix website or WooCommerce, which works with WordPress. Um, and th that's how I, my store is set up. I have a WooCommerce store. And if you were to buy one of these planners from me, you'd be ordering it from WooCommerce. It would send that over to Lulu. It would figure out all the shipping stuff. You would pay me, and then I would pay Lulu to actually print it and send it to you and stuff. But what's fun is like, I'm not even involved in that process. It just all happens behind the scenes, unless something breaks. So if you design it with Canva and then print it with Lulu, that's maybe easy plus. Maybe that's the medium mode. So we could say easy mode is design and print it with Canva. Medium mode is designing Canva, print with Lulu. It's gonna save you a little bit of money. And again, it gives you a lot of options for paper quality. You can actually do different cover styles. Just as a test, I made a hardcover version of it. I don't currently sell these yet, but I was just seeing what it would look like if it had a hardcover. All that stuff, all those options open up to you if you use Lulu. Uh, as your printer. Okay, now what if you wanted to go a little bit more professional? What if you wanted to do this on hard mode? Uh, I would still print with Lulu, that's what I'm using, but I use Affinity to actually design it. So initially I did a beta version of the planner in Canva and I gave a digital version to all of the members of our community, the Redeeming Productivity Academy. And after I got a lot of feedback on people like, yeah, we want something like this, and I was using it, and like, I like this, I said, let's do this thing for real. And so I used Affinity, which is kind of like Adobe. Uh, the, the newest version is like Adobe Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator all in one app, but it's totally free. Again, I don't understand how stuff is free, but this is completely free and I love it. I use it for, I use this, the Photoshop version of this, the pixel version to do my um, thumbnails and stuff for YouTube. So 
Affinity is awesome. You should go download it if you're interested in any kind of desktop publishing or Photoshopping or vector graphics, and you're like, I want to get more serious. This will, you don't have to pay Adobe any money to use this. Now, why would I redo it in here instead of Canva? You just have a lot more control. You can create page templates. You can create sections. You can, you can say, I want this many of the daily pages to repeat this many times. I want page numbers that auto update. Um, I want to have cascading style sheets. So if I change a heading style, it's gonna change across the whole document. All that stuff to do that in Canva on a document as big as a planner is gonna be a lot of copy and pasting. So I read it in here for that reason. And then you just bring it over to Lulu and then you can create a new project from it. So I did print book, but you could do a lot of other stuff. And then you can upload your PDF. Once that's done, it automatically detects how many pages there are, the size of the document and all of that stuff for you. And then you can choose what you want to do with the paper and color. I just did standard black and white because I'm not doing photos or anything and it makes it cheaper. You can choose the paper type. I did white uncoated and then binding. So, you know, the one I have here, I did spiral so it could lay flat. You could do hardcover with linen. That's what I did with this one. It actually even had the option to do a dust jacket with it, which I took off because you should always take the dust jackets off your book. And then cover finish, whether you want it to be glossy, matte, etc. But what you'll notice is as you select all these options, it's automatically calculating the print cost for you. And now that doesn't include some extra fees that they tack on and then shipping is going to cost a fair bit depending on the method you use for shipping. But you could print a book for yourself for relatively cheap. And if you order several of them, then the shipping kind of gets bundled together. And so it ends up being cheaper that way. And they have a template you could use if you want to design your own cover, like in the software of your choice, or you could create your own with their little tools, which I haven't tried. I don't know what that would look like, but you could try that too. And in the end, you can review it. You can purchase copies of it. And if you want to create a store like I did on, on Shopify or WooCommerce or Wix, you can do that. And then you can connect the two, the store and your Lulu account together and sell them that way if that is your dream. All that to say is we live in a really cool time where if you have gotten really particular in the way you like to do stuff, maybe you're a bullet journaler and you're like, I hate making the same spread every day, you can take a little bit of time, create your own custom planner, and then order them for like less than 20 bucks just for yourself. And if you want to turn that into a side business, you think people would like it, you have that option as well. So I don't know, hopefully that helps somebody that is as nerdy as I am and wanting to customize stuff. Let me know if you have any questions, I can hopefully answer them in the comments. And if you're like, I want to skip all that, Reagan, I just want your planner because it's awesome. I totally get where you're coming from. Just go to the link in the description, you can order a copy there. Well, thank you for watching. If you want more productivity from a Christian worldview, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you here in the next video.